Morning guys, uh, this morning uh, I shall be uh, demonstrating uh, G-Technics C4 uh, Permanent Trim Restorer uh, and it means permanent, not like your uh, uh, your other stuff that you know it blackens it and then after a while it turns back grey. Uh, to be honest, uh, the plastics on the sprint seem quite good. You know they do they do stop actually black, um, so they are quite good. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, use this in a way because it, it, it cleans it and it protects it as well. Uh, right, so as with any G Technic uh, applications, uh, these need to be degreased and cleaned. Uh, which is, so I use the uh, isopropanol uh, mix of about 50 water, 50 isopropanol um, to get them, uh, you know, to get to degrease, 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 and degrease again. Uh, get everything off. Uh, so they, they seem to, uh, they do seem to withstand quite a lot. Uh, these things. Bit of sticky stuff there uh, that I'll have to remove. So, to remove any stickiness or uh, tar spots, uh, I'm using uh, Inspired Automotive's uh, Bedazzled Removes Tar and Glue. Uh, pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Uh, you should see it work on. Um, we've just had the roads done around here, so you should see it work on the tar spots uh, on the car uh, and on the bike it does seem it does get rid of everything so just give wipe down with this and then I'll go over with the uh, isopropanol so there you go quite a bit of crap off okay so I've cleaned all the uh, sticky residue and stuff like that off them with, uh, with the bedazzled. Um, so I'm just going to give them a wipe down with the isopropanol. This will get rid of any, anything that's been left over by the bedazzled. Get them really clean. Like I said, with any G-Tech products, uh, G-Technic uh, products, everything needs to be you know, spotlessly clean or, or the chemical reaction just won't adhere to them. Okay, should be good. So, same as before with the uh, C1, uh, they come with, comes in this little bottle with these uh, little mini applicators. So, I'm going to get the top off. Dribble a bit onto there. And then just work it into the trim. not as harsh as the C1 so I, I, well, the, I've not, I haven't seen anybody recommend that you wear uh, uh, gloves or a face mask so just see, work that into the trim still you know still quite a lot of crap comes off a few more dabs Like I said, I'm not really doing it because they've lost the blackness. I'm doing it because it protects, uh, seals and protects. They do come up a, a little bit blacker than 
what they were before, but. So there you go. Two restored trims. I've just got the rest of the bloody things to do now. I'll leave them to dry. I've got the I've got the heat on just because it's it's a little bit cold in here and I'm not doing it because it needs to be up to temperature like uh, there. So uh, hopefully this year I might be able to get them on the bloody bike. Cheers, guys. <laughs>